It's the beat live Bruja girl shit. Hey guys, hey guys. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of people have asked me like how I do my makeup and what products I use, da da da. Even though I have all my products on every platform in short form content. But I decided to do a full very 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 detailed get ready with me so this is the finished look this is how she's looking i haven't done my hair yet i'm gonna do it later on so yeah get your makeup ready get your makeup brush everything ready and let's beat our face disclaimer if you do this makeup routine and it doesn't turn out the exact same way it's because we have different bone structures and it's where i like our face like how our face is shaped in place basically don't just disregard the makeup routine so try to tailor it to your own face structure and your features and everything okay first beat might not be the best but maybe the second would be when you tailor it to your face feel me okay guys so the key to the best beat is literally skin prep i do not play about my skin prep i used to just add primer and start my makeup but then i realized that my makeup lasts longer and looks much better with um skin prep so yeah saw the light never going back all the products i use is going to be on the screen and i'll put the link in the description box below so don't worry i got you i usually wait to do my makeup after i prep my skin a little bit because i'm very glossy when i'm done with my routine either wait to do my makeup or just take time with my brows till my skin is ready for makeup yeah so we're gonna do a little close-up for the brows um, biggest don't when you're doing your brows is do not start from the actual beginning like always start from where your arch begins fix the end of it and then once you're done with the back of your brows you can come to the front and finish it up and kind of make it look seamless also make sure you hold your brush as far back as you possibly can like if you do it up close then you make it darker than you actually want it to be and it's not gonna give like i think that's how the whole eyebrow blindness trend started in high school i used to hold my eyebrow pencil literally by the tip and it was giving angry birds don't even want to talk about it but yeah please 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 hold the brush as far back as you possibly can okay now for the base this is a portion of your makeup that you need to take your time in do not rush actually sit down and focus and lock in the longevity of your makeup literally depends on this part right here after applying the foundation i go over it with a fluffy brush and kind of take away the excess products like i said we don't do dewy over here so you can tell the difference like from this side and this side right after i'm done cleaning it up i go ahead with my concealer which is the most important part of the base um, I use the Dior concealer, literally top notch 10 out of 10. It's smooth like butter. If you're gonna spend money on makeup, spend money on a Dior concealer. Literally no regrets. But yeah, so I place my concealer in these areas because it fits my face shape very well. Um, if you have a rounder face or just a different face shape, then you can try these concealer placements and let me know if it works honestly because i've never tried it and then i go ahead with my maybelline matte finish setting spray to kind of spray everything and just wait a little bit i'll just go ahead and start blending obviously like i said hold the end of the brush not the tip i just go ahead and blend my brows and all my placements so i usually blend like the ones in the inner corner of my eye i blend them down and the ones in the corner i kind of just drag it up and bring it up to my temple so it can kind of like give me the snatch effect i don't use contour i don't use bronzer i don't use anything else i only use like foundation and concealer but i do contour my face using like the contrast basically so if you can see like the inner corner of my eye i kind of bring the concealer up to my eyelids so the foundation could only show on like the side of my nose and that kind of gives the contour effect basically because i think you can use the contrast between like your foundation and your concealer to give it the contour effect feel me <laughs> And then I go ahead and clean the excess products like I did with the foundation. But this time I'm gonna use those um, setting powder thingies. Those, this thing, I forgot the name. But yeah, I use that to clean it up. I want it to be as flat as I possibly can. Cause when I add my powder, it's gonna be blurred and just stuck on my face and matte. Feel me? Alright, 
right, so now it's time to set everything. So I first use Maybelline Fit Me's Matte Powder first. Um, this is the golden powder, so it's kind of similar to my skin tone. I just use it only on where I put the concealer in to kind of blur it out. And then I layer another Maybelline setting powder, which is a lighter shade on top and on my blush as well so it kind of blurs everything out so now you can't tell where the blush starts or where it's ending i use the powder puff for this and the brush for the other one because the other one i needed to really really set just the concealer within itself and then i blend everything in with the powder it's okay if it's a little white because you're gonna go with a powder foundation that's your shade and kind of just brush it over it so you can see it on my chin it was a little bit whiter and then i use the powder foundation and kind of just tone it down a little bit